Tell me about pre-deployment leave. Have you had that yet? Mm -mm. What are your plans for pre-deployment leave? Are you going to do something together, just you and him? I don't know. I think that we should. I, I don't know. Like, because before... Because <laughs> I think I know what you're going to tell me. Because we've talked about it before in the past. Yeah. Are you going to tell me, and am I going to get nasty? Are you going to tell me that you're going to go home to see family? I, I don't want... I don't know. <laughs> I don't go ahead and tell me, no. and we'll talk about it. No, I don't know. I don't. That's what I you don't really want to do. As horrible as that sounds, I really don't want to do that. And as selfish as that sounds for me saying that, I mm -hmm. don't want to. So I don't know. And you'd have to go back to Illinois. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make you cry. Um, I want to tell you that you're not selfish, but you have told me in the past that you guys are from a small hometown. Is mm -hmm. this correct? And when you go home, no one's ever satisfied. Right. So you don't want to get into that again. No. Right. For what reason? Because nobody, not everybody is going to be happy. So why go home and add that stress to the stress that we already have? Exactly. Well, let me ask you this. Could you do something like this? Could you on pre-deployment leave invite them out here for a weekend for a big barbecue? Do you think that they would come here on your turf in your home? and set up that boundary, do you think that that would work? Yeah, it would work. Yeah, that okay. would be okay with me. That would be a good compromise, but I don't know. If they do it. Yeah. They're, they're going to say to you, no, you have to come to us. Yeah. Are they expecting you to pay for that? Mm, I don't know. It, my parents are pretty generous, so they would try and pay, but I, I don't like taking it. So it puts you in an awkward situation six mm -hmm. ways from Sunday. Yeah. You want to establish yourself as an adult that you make your own decisions. Mm -hmm. But they're going to guilt you into coming. And don't get me wrong, because there's a part of you that you want to do that, mm -hmm. and I understand it, but I know. I understand the strain. Yeah. The, the only thing that I can press on you is create boundaries. Whether you go there or they come here, mm -hmm. you need to probably have limit it to three days. There's a saying, fish and company stink in three days. <laughs> three days, have one big event that mm -hmm. everyone's invited to, so that you are not... Yeah. If, if you have that pre-deployment leave and you guys leave this house and you go there and you're at this parent's house and that parent's house and this grandma's house and this aunt's house and this uncle and you feel like you're always saying goodbye, you're doing that for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So you're making all these deposits into somebody else and you're empty. And I'm not saying for you guys to be, I, first of all, I don't think you're selfish. Mm -hmm. I encourage you guys to do something for yourselves.